good morning, guys. Yes, it is a good morning. Indeed it is. Nice and sunshine again. Yesterday we had pretty much cloudy all day long. So when we have a nice sunny day, we enjoy it. We try and enjoy our sunny days. That's right. But anyways, let's get back on the road. Let's get some good miles behind us. Yes, indeed. It is Saturday morning. At least up here in North America. Somewhere else in the country, it could already be Sunday. But... Turn left and then keep to the left in 200 feet. Up here, it's definitely Saturday. So, we got us about a thousand and seventy-three miles to go. Take the entrance to the right. And we got two days to make that in, right? So, uh, it's not exactly that we got a really pusher, but I just like to get up early in the morning and go. I could have gotten up an hour ago and got going, but I did sleep in a little bit. But hey, it's the weekend and you know, like I said, we don't have that many hours to go, so if I had 600 miles today and 600 miles tomorrow, then I would have probably done that, but uh, that's kind of why we uh, were giving her really good there yesterday, which I really wanted to do anyways, because that way, if I all of a sudden do go back into Ontario or something like that, that way I can get some good roll hour rollback hours coming back to me, you know? So that was one of the biggest reasons why we did that, so... But yeah, let's see how we're gonna do today without AC. Hopefully we're not gonna be struggling too much. It's already 20 degrees, or 18 degrees anyway, so... So yeah, if it's gonna be a beautiful sunny day, then uh, could get could be warm especially the further south we go right we might be struggling a little bit but I think what I'm gonna do is uh, if I get a load back from over there going back to Manitoba I think what we're gonna do is uh, I think I'm gonna book my truck in to get the safety done we'll get everything fixed get the AC fixed Get my windshield replaced, that needs to be replaced, and all of that good stuff, and then we'll be good to go. At least that'll give me at least another week in case they can't fix something or they can't get the part right away. I know it on the short trip if my truck is drivable and uh, come back the following week, right? So we'll see what happens, but, but yeah. Let's get our day on the road. Appreciate all of you guys tuning in. So that's how we're solving a fantastic weekend together. What do you guys think? Good plan? I think so. Give it a good thumbs up. Here we are, guys. We are in Chicago. Just about to enter Indiana here in a few minutes, a few miles. And it is hot down here. It's 25 degrees Celsius right now. I think we're gonna go down to Gary, Indiana. I'm gonna go talk to the shop there and see if they can have a look at my AC and see if they have time to do it anyways. And if not, I might just buy me a can of Freon and put it in there myself and give that a try and see if that will work. But yeah, it is very uncomfortable in here. I've been keeping my windows open uh, pretty much all the time, but I try and close them up so when I do my video recording, otherwise you probably wouldn't be able to hear me. Because it's so noisy, you know, all the noise around us, you know. From all the vehicles and the tires and the wind hauling around my truck and all of that stuff, so... But yeah, we are cruising right along here. We've already been going for about four and a half hours, so time to make the pit stop anyway so we'll go ahead and do that here in Gary, Indiana. So 
let's make our way down there and see if we can get our AC fixed. That would be very much appreciated. If we could get that done, I don't mind spending a couple of hours there just to get that fixed if I can get that fixed. Because uh, it really sucks not having it. <laughs> I guarantee you that. Here we are, guys. At the Gary Indiana Petro. And uh, I wanted to get my AC fixed, but uh, they got no technician in there that can actually work on ACs right now, so uh, I'm screwed again. <laughs> yeah. So, we just got to continue on cruising along there. Simple as that. I went ahead and checked that airline there or that air conditioning line there. It's got a nozzle there and I checked it and it looks like it is got lots of pressure and fluid in there so uh, I don't really think it is low on Freon. I thought at the beginning that it was low on Freon but it doesn't appear to be the case. Not sure what the problem is, but uh, I guess eventually we'll figure it out. But uh, yeah, also my fan is not coming on when uh, when I have my AC on, right? What it's supposed to be doing is the fan is supposed to kick in as soon as I turn on the AC, especially if I'm just sitting somewhere, you know. And that's not happening, so uh, something is not right. But I'm not sure what it is, but. In anyways, the we gotta to continue on cruising along no matter what. East. I checked, I even went inside and bought me one of those cans with the antifreeze in it. And it's got a gauge on it to test, and it tells you what kind of PSI you need to have for certain temperatures. Then I checked it and it was above and beyond what it's supposed to have, so... Uh, so it's sure not under pressure. So it obviously doesn't have a leak anywhere, so... as if it had a leak, it wouldn't be over pressure, right? But yeah. So it must be some kind of sensor or something is burned out. That's kind of what I'm thinking, or that's my theory behind it. And we'll just stick to that theory, I guess. But yeah, let's make our way south, where it's going to be even hotter. <laughs> yeah. We are coming into Indianapolis, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. And it is an amazing 26 degrees Celsius, guys. Man, I'm telling you, it is hot in here. It really sucks that my AC ain't working, but I'm pretty darn sure that it ain't the uh, Freon, because uh, I tested it there, and it had enough pressure and all of that good stuff, so... Uh, yeah, I'm not sure what's happening, but we'll figure it out eventually, I suppose. Mind you, here in a few weeks, I don't think we're going to need it very much anymore, but... Right now, it would be kind of nice to have it. You want mile. Keep to the left on I-65 South. Alright, RJ, we'll go ahead and do that then. Yeah, I've been keeping my windows open as much as I can. Close them to when I want to record something here a little bit, but as you can see, it's beautiful sunshine and nice green over here. So my, I might come across as complaining a little bit about my AC, but it is really uncomfortable when you're so used to having it, and then all of a sudden you don't have it. Yep, that's what it is, but. Oh well, I guess we gotta get used to it. At least for this trip, right? I think uh, I think next trip or when I go home, I'm gonna get it fixed. <laughs> yeah, it's the plan anyways. But yeah, let's continue on cruising along here. 
downtown Indianapolis this way. All right. Well, I guess that's what we're going to do. Is we're going to be taking I-70 for 11 miles. Yeah, 11 miles to I-70. We'll be taking that uh, east there for a good while, and we'll be going into Virginia and West Virginia and all that good stuff. So. Oh yeah, we will have uh, some new sceneries from here on. I think from here on when we can uh, come on to I-70, especially further down the road there, that's all new. Something that I haven't been on in a long time, so. So yeah, let's continue on with our journey. Alrighty guys, we have just fueled up. We're still on I-70. And I decided, you know what, let's go ahead and fill the truck up and make sure that's all done and, and then continue on with our journey. I think we got another two hours to go. Now we'll be done or, or something like that. Maybe we'll do another hour and we'll be done. Don't know exactly how far we'll be going today yet, but... I was kind of looking at it earlier and it might be another hour and a half. It appeared that my GoPro 4 died on me, the battery. So we had to quickly plug her in and here we are. <laughs> but as I was saying, we got probably a little bit to go yet. But it is starting to get a little cloudy, but it is very muggy and hot out here. So, yeah. Yep. But whatever. We're going to continue cruising along here like we have been all day long. And we'll get to our place of staying for the night, wherever we decide. I still have 611 miles to go to the delivery place, so... My goal is to get a little bit, at least probably down to like, at least 580, maybe 550 miles. That way it'll be a little less miles tomorrow. And then... Uh, what I might do is get up super early, like right away as soon as my 10 hours is up tomorrow and then just start driving so that way uh, I'll be done probably tomorrow early afternoon so that way I don't have to deal with this heat all day long so that way I can uh, stop my APU unit's AC works so I can stay in a nice cool truck. That's the plan for right now anyway, so you might see a little shorter videos here in the next few days Because it's kind of hard to keep that window closed and Try and show you something when it's super hot because it just heats up like crazy in here I start sweating and gotta open up my window and all that stuff so So yeah, anyways, we'll continue cruising there We'll show you as much as we possibly can, but we can't make no guarantees. Yeah, guys, we have found us a place that we want to try and uh, call it a day for. Yeah, looks like we're going to be stopping here in about 30 minutes, I would say, give or take. We found us a, uh, there's a Loves and a TA at the same exit. So that's where we're going to be trying our luck with finding us some parking there, but... We can't make no guarantees that we'll find some there, right? But we'll give it a try anyways. Looks like there is a good number of truck uh, traffic up here, so... Uh, you never know, right? If you'll find parking there or not, but... We'll go down there and give it a try anyways. We'll see what happens. But it looks like it has rained there uh, a little bit ago. So, uh... It has cooled down quite a bit actually. It's now only like 22 degrees, which is like 72 Fahrenheit. Well, that's a lot better, and I, but I still do have my window open, but whatever. We'll keep it open for a little bit yet. Until we stop anyways, and then we'll turn on our AC on our Thermal King unit, right? That's the plan for now anyway, so... Uh, Let's make her down to our truck stop and see if we get lucky finding a parking space. Well guys, the day has come to an end officially. Yeah, it's been an okay day though. Even though we didn't have no AC in the truck, we still survived it, right? Got the APU unit running right now, cooling us down. It's doing a fantastic job, I think, anyways. 
So with that being said, we appreciate all of you guys watching my vlog today, although it might be a little boring because I'm complaining about my AC, but uh, hey, part of life. It's not always a good day and it's not always a bad day. If you have a bad day, you always know there's gonna be a good day ahead of you. That's right. <laughs> That's what I keep telling myself. Eventually we'll have this fixed and we'll have us a good day again, right? Yeah, that's what I'm hoping for anyways. So uh, with that being said, stick around tomorrow. We'll go to bed here pretty shortly. And then we'll see you again right here on the Trucker Rudy Show tomorrow morning. So don't miss it. Tell all your friends about it and get them to subscribe to my channel. That would be fantastic, guys. And don't forget to rate it up by a big fat thumbs up either. So we'll see you right here tomorrow morning. behind me that day is gonna come